Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about Short Run Aggregate Supply. In this video we are going to deal with short run aggregate supply and how supply in the economy relates to the price level on an aggregate level. Okay, so to start this one off, the short run aggregate supply is the total amount of output produced by firms in the economy. So when we look at supply and aggregate supply as related to the general price level, what we are looking at is a line or relationship between them on this graph here. So what we show is that the short run aggregate supply curve is an upward sloping line in general. And what this means is it's showing the total quantity of goods and services produced by firms and sold at any given price. And what it shows because it's upward is that there's a positive relationship between the price level and GDP. So for example, if we take a price level here of P1 and we relate this to the output GDP level down here, we can start off with this rate in the economy of P1 and GDP1. And what this line tells us is that as the price level increases in the economy, so we go up to P2 in this economy here, as the price level goes up, the GDP level tends to respond positively. So GDP tends to increase as well. So GDP is further across to the right, away from the origin, showing that as prices go up, the GDP level tends to go up as well. So why would this be the case? Well, this is the case because of the actual output deviating from potential output. And it can do this in the short run because of what we call price and wage rigidities. So rigidities of prices and wages. Sometimes we call this another term, we call it sticky. So sticky prices and sticky wages in the economy. So in the long run, we assume everything is flexible and prices and wages can change and they can correspond to an equilibrium point. However, in the short run, we have price and wage stickiness or rigidities in this case here. And what that means is that we can have prices changing quite quickly and wages changing at a slower rate. So let's just look at a quick formula here to understand what's happening. We look at the profit level of any given firm in the economy. And that profit level is equal to the price of whatever good they sell, good X, multiplied by the quantity of that good. And we take away from that the cost of it. So we say the cost price of that good. And we multiply by how many goods that firm is producing. So here what we're looking at is a profit function for an individual firm with total revenue and total cost over here. So the first theory that we would use to explain why when prices go up, GDP goes up, the first one is called sticky wages. So with the sticky wage theory here, what we are going to show is as the price level goes up in the economy, so the price of your product, your selling price is going up. If that goes up greater or at a higher level than the expected price level in the economy, well, the expected price level is generally what happens and what corresponds to the cost price here. So if prices go up greater than the expected price level, what will tend to happen is that will correspond to greater revenue for this firm. And with greater revenue, with a fixed cost will come greater profits. And with greater profits is the incentive to produce more and therefore GDP tends to rise. So why would it be that when expected inflation 
it does not change when it's lower than the actual price level that uh, costs stay relatively the same well what we can say here is that expected prices are what determine the wage level and for wage negotiations usually carried out on an annual basis they tend to be quite slow quite laborious so wages tend to only go up uh, maybe over an annual period so if wages are based on what we call adaptive expectations well then the wage increase will tend to be based on what we forecast from last year's inflation and if last year's inflation was quite low the wage increase this year will be quite low and it could be lower than the increase in the actual price level so if there's a divergence between the wage increase and the selling price increase that means that profits go up as we went through and GDP could increase as well now that is not the only theory on why when prices go up GDP goes up we also have a theory called sticky prices so in terms of sticky prices what we say here is some firms have prices set at a particular level mainly met, let's say for example restaurants who have a set menu and with a set menu and prices don't change that often what could happen is the general price level could go up in the economy unexpectedly some firms just like the restaurant don't change immediately so they have relatively low prices and if they have relatively low prices what tends to happen is we see an increase in their sales and when their sales increase this means that their GDP and the GDP of the country overall can tend to increase as well due to what we call sticky prices the final one then is due to price misconception so a misconception over price levels in the economy now what happens here well in terms of a price misconception it could be that when the price level goes up in the economy that some firms think that this is specific to their own firm so an individual firm thinks that it's only specific to them and if it's only specific to them what they think is that if they increase output and production that their revenue and profits will increase as well so what tends to happen is they misconceive that it's a price increase for the general economy they think it's specific to them which means that they increase production and overall if enough firms do this GDP increases as well so for three reasons then we might see when prices go up in the economy GDP goes up as well giving us A to B in terms of moving along our short run supply curve and giving us a positively sloped short run aggregate supply curve I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.